I love to fight. I know that it might sound a bit strange, but I feel like it gives me a purpose, makes me a better person. When I fight, when I'm in the cage, I feel like I got complete clarity. I can be myself. All my thoughts and feelings get put aside and I focus on one thing, one thing only, and that's fighting. Iceland is an amazingly beautiful country, but it is quite a tough place. Growing up here in a cold, windy and dark island, far in the North Atlantic, is definitely something that makes you or breaks you. It made me. Those are from tournaments, uh, jiu-jitsu, I think all of those. Uh, boxing, some of them are boxing. Mm, here was from Thailand. I was actually the only girl who signed up, but they still let me compete. I did the open weight division with the, with the guys. It was fun, a lot of fun. All right, those are the European Open in Portugal. First place in my weight division. And this one was uh, second place in the Open Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I'm, I'm proud of that one, the, the IMMAF. It was a big tournament and uh, a lot of experience. Since I remember I've been drawn to sports, I always felt the urge to compete. Football, ice hockey, I even tried pole fitness. <laughs> I just engaged in everything active that I would come across. Then six years ago, I tried a Muay Thai class. Right there and then I knew this was it. I'm here at my gym, Mueller MMA, for a good few hours every day. I practically live here. Okay, it's not like you get girls like Sunna every day in the gym. Like from the beginning, she has been training like a, like a pro. She's always training and has a mindset and the attitude of like a, a, a pro athlete. And if she keeps on going, she can be a champion. She has everything a champion needs. We think she is a big role model for all the girls in the gym. We have like a few hundred girls in Mjolnir and Sunna is like the queen. I think no matter what she does in life, she does it with 100% commitment. So as a coach, this is always very exciting. If someone's a very good worker, excited about the training, you never have to worry about Sona missing a class. In fact, you have to tell Sona to go home sometimes. She trains so hard. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Nice. She wins in the victory with this technique, and I get uh, 20%. In 2013, I decided to do a little soul searching, and I took off to a Muay Thai camp in the beautiful island of Phuket in Thailand. That's where I got my nickname. The locals had a pretty hard time pronouncing my name Sunna. It always came out sounding like Tsunami. And when they saw me fight, they decided that Tsunami was a perfectly fitting name for me. So the name stuck and I wear it with great pride. <laughs> This was the experience of a lifetime. 
to be able to concentrate on nothing but training and fighting day in and day out made all the difference. I could feel my skills improving every day while I was there and I had such good time doing it. I'll definitely spend some time there again someday. Going pro has been my ambition from day one. I had followed Invicta for a long time and it's surreal to me that now I'm signed with the organization as a professional fighter. And recently, it's uh, now she's getting a great opportunity to fight on Invicta. Struggling to think of any other European girls that are on that show, very few, maybe one or two, very few. And um, I know she can make a big impact on it. She's a little bit unknown coming from Iceland, so a lot of the girls are going to find it difficult to deal with her level of competitiveness. She has a really strong competitive drive. So yeah, 2016, I think it's going to be Sonna's year and I'm, I'm looking forward to cheer her on. She's, she's a beast, she's, she's, a, she's a hard spar, but she's, she's really nice. She has a, she's no ego, she's just trying to learn, like all of us. And um, she's probably a better spar than most of the lads. She's, a, she's one tough girl and a, everything, all the success that she has coming to her, she deserved it. She earned it every single day. When that alarm clock goes off, I don't even think she has a snooze button. So I think she just gets up and she's been grinding for a long time. And um, being, being a father myself, she's a mother to one. So you know, I know how hard that is as well. It's, uh, it's very difficult. I think she's a future champion without doubt. She's a very hard worker. I remember when I first came here, Sona was here many years ago. And every time I come back, she's gone so much better each time. So she has that intensity like a, like a, fight, like a fighter should have. So um, Sona is a very exciting prospect in the women's uh, 115 pound division. I have no doubt she will cause a big wave wherever she goes. She's signed to Invicta now, which is a big uh, step up. And she's more than ready for the challenge. I look forward to seeing her career progress. I'll be with her, supporting her all the way. So it's like one of these people that right away, once she arrived, she was training, you knew she was gonna be good, because she's just, she just has it, has this inner. She has this fight, and and she loves what she's doing. She's always happy in the gym, and I believe in her with all my heart. I think she's gonna go wherever her heart takes her. So I really look forward to uh, her future, and and I'll be following and and supporting her all the way. In Victor's division, you better hold on to something. There's a tsunami coming. <laughs>